So in terms of what do we think is happening, um, I'd say that's the million dollar question, and that's the question that almost all people asked, whether you're somebody interested in purchasing the equipment to use for yourself, or whether you're a professional who's first hearing about it, the question that typically asks is, well, how does this work, and does it really work? And that is the challenge that is before us to establish uh, that it has, is a real clinical effect. There are uh, basic science and preclinical studies that have been done to look at what the mechanisms are underlying um, the effect on photobiomodulation. Uh, but to extend that to clinical work, to clinical conditions, to see what kind of treatment effects that are there, this is something that we are doing right now. We need more clinical trials, we need more people doing it, and we need it more with the kind of populations that we are currently studying, which would include neurological populations and psychiatric populations. In some ways, um, talking about the underlying mechanisms um, is important. You want to know how something works, but it's the case that for it's a, it's a standard that maybe might be a little bit unfair. Uh, not that it's not relevant, but we don't ask that same question of medications. Like, we don't know how aspirin works exactly. We know that when you give it in a certain dose and at certain intervals, people weigh a certain amount, that you have a certain effect and it causes pain reduction. At a clinical level, we want to know that it's effective in changing what the problem is. So our measurements um, need to include psychosocial measurements of life quality, how somebody's able to do what they're doing. In um, PTSD, if there's a reduction in intrusive recollections, if there's a reduction in re-experiencing, if somebody can feel more comfortable and have less hyper arousal when they go out in the community, they'll be able to do more in their life and it'll be easier for them to have a normal life. And to the extent that photobiomodulation can help with that, then that'll be a great uh, endpoint. And even if we don't know exactly how that happens, if it gets to the point where it's sort of like this works. And if we can replicate that and demonstrate that and it's predictable as an effect after using the equipment, then that'll be good. Same thing would apply for TBI. If somebody comes in with a traumatic brain injury, they're having trouble with executive functioning, they're having trouble with memory, um, it's affecting them being able to control their emotions, regulate their behavior, go to the store without a list and remember the things that they need to get. If that improves and if they can have better concentration, be more independent, maybe we don't need to know exactly how it happens, why it's going on the way it is, but it's helping. The families will then, you know, be, <laughs> they'll be happier because their loved ones able to do the kind of things that um, they would hope for them to be independent and they don't have to do as much the collateral kind of benefit that would come to the family is something that would be good. So in our research, we need to look to see whether those effects are also there as part of the treatment.